ലെസ്സൺ എയ്റ്റ് ഡു നോട്ട് സ്റ്റീൽ ഗോഡ് ക്രിയേറ്റ് ദ ടെൻ കമാൻമെൻസ് ആൻഡ് അമങ് ദം ദ സെവൻത് വൺ ഏസ് യു ഷാൽ നോട്ട് സ്റ്റീൽ ദ സെവൻത് വേർഡ് ഓഫ് ദ ഡെഗ്ലോഗ് primarily reveals to us that god wants us to act justly and with charity in our relationship with one another it describes about the important qualities such as truthfulness justice compassion and charity in this way we are able to live in communion with god who is just and loving specifically the seventh commandment commands justice and charity in the care of earthly goods and the fruit of men's labor god created everything in this world for the use of men so we have the responsibility to ensure justice and charity in providing these earthly goods to those who are in really need of it it forbids the unjust taking or keeping of goods belonging to one's neighbor and the wronging of another as it regards his or her goods so what is wealth wealth is the gift of god we read in the book of genesis the description of creation that god creates the universe and all that in it and gives them for the use of man wealth is meant for man's use it is not to be amassed unjustly it is also sinful not to share it and to use it in wrongful ways what is right to wealth the right of others to their own wealth is as important as our right to our own wealth as we said wealth is god's gift and we have the right to our own wealth as we have the right everyone else also have the same right as wealth is god's gift we have to share our wealth to those who are in really need of it the violation of right of others to their own wealth is called stealing we have to be very thankful to god for what we have if we honor the lord with our wealth then our barns will be filled with plenty and our and our vats will be bursting with wine proverbs chapter 3 teaches us the importance of honoring lord for what we have there are certain sins against the seventh commandment such as bribery denial of wages coping during the exam and so on bribery is influencing someone with money or power to gain a benefit coping during the exam is also a great sin it is the use of unethical ways or malpractices during an exam showing partiality is also a great sin no one is better than anyone no one is inferior and no one is superior to anyone denial of wages is a big sin as in front of god we all are his servants and we deserve a wage or a fee for the work we have rendered denying the wage for the work is a great sin and will not be forgiven by god stealing is also a great sin in front of god it is breaking god's law It's a great sin if we possess something which does not belong to us. If we see, steal something, we have duty to give them back. If we have taken something unjustly, we must return them. If we have caused loss to others unjustly, we must make amends for it. Restitution must be made to the person who has suffered loss because of what we did if circumstances do not allow us to do it publicly it must be done privately the commandment you shall not steal 
teaches us that we have the responsibility to protect others' rights. Let us grow as protectors and guardians of social justice. Let us grow in the goodness as the stewards of God's riches, using them for our good and the good of others. The wealth can be seen as personal wealth and public wealth. Wealth that a person can make on his own is personal wealth. We have the right to own and enjoy created things in a just way. It is necessary for the progress of man and the welfare of the society. The right to own personal wealth persuades men to work and bear fruits. Personal wealth assures a man's security and welfare. Stealing is against the right to personal wealth. Stealing is taking the property of another person. This is an attack on the right to personal wealth. Also, the unjust amassing of personal wealth and prodigality are also serious evils. What is public wealth? Public wealth involves natural resources, government institutions, etc. Public wealth is for the benefit of public. It cannot be held personally. Owning a public wealth personally violates the right of many. Therefore, careless use of public wealth, destroying or squandering it knowingly, over exploiting and polluting the nature and atmosphere are disrespect to public wealth. Justice is the moral virtue that consists in the constant and firm will to give their due to God and neighbor. Justice is that virtue which persuades a person to give each one his due. St. Thomas Aquinas says, only those who respect the right of others can behave justly. So, one's right becomes another's duty. Respecting these rights and duties are called justice. The basic principle of justice is to give what one owes to another. Jesus desires that the basis of our sense of justice should be love and fraternity. That is what we see in the parable of the Good Samaritan. The man who was attacked and plundered by the was in need of help and mercy. Presenting the Good Samaritan, who took up the responsibility of helping that wounded man, Jesus tells us that, Go and do the same. To the unjust, Jesus will say on the day of the last judgment, I have never known you. Away from me, you evil man. It is our responsibility to show justice to ourselves, to our neighbors. It is a one good quality which will keep us close to God. Be kind, truthful and show justice. Like the Good Samaritan. Thank you. Let us pray. God, who gave man authority over everything in this world. Bless me to protect the right of others and respect them.